Hello and welcome to our video about Lightgate Marketing. Lightgate Marketing is a fairly recent marketing mechanism that allows content producers to market their content directly at consumers in exchange for a simple press of the like button of their Facebook page. Because Lightgate Marketing is a recent development, there's not a lot of literature available on the subject. However, there is a fair amount of literature available on virtual communities, the precursors to Facebook pages. Virtual communities are, in general, communities on the internet that allow people to come together and become members. They can be classified as either non-profit or for-profit virtual communities, which are fairly self-explanatory. The degree of interaction between members also classifies a virtual community, making it either a very slow virtual community or a very fast one. The success of a virtual community is defined as its ability to create a sense of actual community online, a sense of loyalty within that community, and perhaps most importantly, the purchasing intention of community members to actually purchase the content. The level of perceived usefulness, trust, and commitment measures the satisfaction of members. You can think here as to uh, comment moderation, that they don't exceed boundaries of the members themselves. Facebook pages offer companies and organizations the opportunity to create a virtual environment that exhibits community-like traits. Facebook pages are similar to online communities because members generate interest by posting, commenting, and sharing content. Facebook pages' success is based on how actively the members and the operators of these Facebook pages contribute to the, voluntarily to the content provided. Think here of users and Facebook likers sharing content that they see on one page to another. The advantage for a business of creating a Facebook page is that at the end of each week they receive a weekly update showing how many new people like them, how many people are talking about them, and how much their content is trending. Like gating occurs when a company offers exclusive content to their followers in exchange for people pressing the like button on their page. The main reason why companies would do this is so that people actually like their pages and stay up to date with their current information, updates and promotional offers. If we take an example of an up and coming music uh, talent, Blau, we can see on his Facebook page that in order to access his music you have to click the like button. So without a actually clicking on this button, you have no access to the music that he publishes for free to his fans. Upon clicking the like button, you get to see the full list of all of the tracks that he has available for people to download, including links to his web store, to his um, radio show, and his, uh, and his merchandising store. Like getting really allows a company to send their page followers updates with regards to new products and promotional offers. In the case of an artist like Blau, this might be a new song. In the case of event organizers, this might be the chance to win free tickets to a contest that they organize and get front row seats to a new show. Now we're going to move on to a video interview with Gunt Egelberg, a former talent scout an acquisition and recruitment executive for CNR Music. It was an event in my case. We wanted people to, to like the page so we could stay in touch with it. It's kind of like people signing up for, uh, with their email address or something like um, sending your email to uh, write up your email address and uh, maybe, you know, make a chance or if you have a chance to get tickets for this event or get some free content. But most people don't want to give away their email address because they know it's going to be a chance. So they like it, it's the click of the button. And it's such a cheap thing to do that you don't realize how much you're giving away by doing it. So it's a bit sneaky and I think people are getting more aware of it. But last year for us it was really easy to, to get a lot of people to like or pay. Uh, we wanted to build our own beach in London. And, yeah, uh, as soon as we did the, the like it, we just said, okay, like it, and maybe you'll get tickets for our opening party with all the parties. I rock it up, and uh, then we immediately had this line of contact with a big target audience. We, could, we kept updating them with new contacts. Incredibly increased your 
exposed. Because it, as an artist, you, you, you have a good, like, let's say, I'm a DJ, I have a great dream of success. Um, and I want to give it away. It's kind of tip to touch. Because I put a lot of work in it, and I'll say, look, if you like my face to face, then you get a few down. Or some people need to be dislike afterwards. Because most people don't do that. You know? I can over ask people that like it, they just keep liking it. Because like, oh, it's cool enough, I'll keep liking it. You can send them updates. But not only can you send them updates, uh, you get more likes on Facebook, the more likes you have, the, the more your status increases. As soon as a, a booker or a promoter sees that you have 5,000 likes instead of 500, they'll book you. And that, you, can, you can reach that by just a simple like it, with just one simple download. So, I wouldn't say that uh, you, you, you increase your fan share because most people only use it once. And if the content is good enough, then they'll come back to it. But it, it greatly increases your online status by giving you more likes. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. Here are the references that we used to make this video. Thank you for your time.